Hey all, Treebeard here. Well, Christmas has come and gone, and Hoof Hearted had their own sort of little uh, white elephant Christmas party, and I received two gifts. One of them was a Ted Cruz coloring book, and the other was this. So, uh, I told the folks at Hoof Hearted that they were gonna suffer through this with me. And they and then they declined. They said, oh no, you're watching this on your own. So uh, now I'm making videos of it. You're coming along for the ride, motherfucker. But uh, first things first, we, we need it. We really ought to look at the cover. Okay, so uh, you got a big Y there. I actually wrote that. I'm wondering why the fuck they give this to me. And uh, we got Robin with pupils and eyebrows. It's a little weird. Uh, we got a Beast Boy with a Hitler mustache, which is oddly appropriate, given what we know about him in this, ser in this series. And we got a Raven with a soul patch. Uh, what happens after everyone's favorite toddler superheroes have saved the planet from total annihilation? Swing by Titan's Tower and find out as douchebags chill out after a hard day of crime fighting and take on some real challenges like laundry, chores, video games, and plain old trying to get along. Enjoy the laughs when Beast Boy... Yeah, enjoy the laughs in this thing. Enjoy the laughs when Beast Boy introduces his new villainous girlfriend. Raven's demonic father stops in for a visit, or Cyborg has his birthday bashed by an evil pie maker. So suit up, order a pizza, and check out all these 26 all-new adventures. Or whatever the fuck they are. At least until the next time the world needs John Cena. Oh. Oh, oh lord, there's, there's two discs. And also, the, uh, the south, oh, the titans will rise again. Oh, my mistake, that's not politically correct. Okay, so let's, uh, let's pop this fucker in. Get, get in there. Okay, I'll just say, I don't completely hate the theme song. It just kind of sounds like a half-assed remix. It's no use! Sparkle Face, we'll be trapped in this candy dungeon forever! Don't give up, Butterbean. Ah yes, the first of many brony jokes this series loves to exploit. So I kicked another dirt monster into a furnace, and then I was all, I bet that really burns you up. <laughs> it's like a metaphor! Booyah! That's not a metaphor. <laughs> That's too much, dude. <laughs> they didn't hear me, though. It was on fire. Mmm. <laughs> nothing like people chewing with their mouths open and spraying food everywhere. Uh, seriously? You guys eat like animals. <laughs> uh -huh, so good. Aha, uh -huh, it's funny because he turns into aminals. Oh, yeah! I'd crawl over a hundred miles of broken glass for this sandwich. Would it really hurt you because you're a fucking cyborg? I'd drive across the country in a car that smelled like cyborgs B.O. for this sandwich. <laughs> body odor? Cyborg is mostly metal. What body odor would there be? So you're saying you'd leave this tower if I told you where to find a good sandwich? Sure, but it would have to be a legendary sandwich, like mine. Yeah, but there would be orange text on this sandwich. Even if it is true, my sandwiches are the best, period. Oh, but it is true. Behold. Ah, if it says ancient legends, it must be true! On the 7th, he brought the sandwich before the king, and it was glorious. It would grant him eternal life, so he could rule his kingdom forever. It was also delicious. Wait, if they know it's delicious, doesn't that mean that it was eaten? He realized the sandwich was too powerful. It had to be destroyed. So the ingredients were hidden away in the far corners of the world, watched by the fierce sandwich guardians. We have to get the candy keys from Gumdrop Goblin, or we'll never make it to Princess Puffball's birthday party. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha ha ha. The next ingredient is the king's lettuce, buried deep underground. I can dig it. Uh, it's funny because he turned into a mole. The next ingredient is the stellar tomato, hidden among the stars. I shall retrieve the tomato. S you, you see, because her name is Star for... 
With the candy keys, we'll be able to make Princess Puffball's birthday where all dreams come true. You rock, Butterbean. It's like they don't really understand what they're making fun of. In fact, they don't seem to understand a whole lot of many things. Uh-huh, I'm digging, I'm digging, digging like a pro, yo. Digging, dig- You know, when Beast Boy did this in the original Teen Titans, it was still annoying. How did anyone manage to transport this Earth fruit to the Lilap system? Good question. They're not gonna answer that. Oh no, so far this is the most dangerous of the four. Ah, way to go, Robin. Running over an old man. GG. I need some pretzel bread, the freshest you've got. Make it quick, this place is really bumming me out. Oh god, I hate super rackets. Wait, this is more of a deli joke than a supermarket joke. You gonna need a drink of water with this hot sauce, baby. You don't drink water to soothe hot sauce. You drink milk. Drinking water actually just makes hot sauce worse. You'd think somebody who spends most of their time eating would know this. Okay, dude. Let's talk about this face to face. Ah ha ha. I am thinking perhaps this is too much trouble for a Admittedly, I forgot there's this much fighting in the beginning. And, you know, some people prefer swords or like lasers, but I like to use this staff. See? Just crack, 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 right on the head, the knee, crack, clavicle, whatever. <laughs> really gets the job done. Is this how you normally talk to people, Robin? Couldn't have thought of doing that sooner, guy. Of course, you're an idiot in this series, so no, you couldn't have thought of doing that. It is a leaf of lettuce. Yes! It is a strip of bacon. Yes! It is a slice of tomato. Oh, look, Sparkle Face. I... It's Licorice Forest. W what? But isn't that place full of trolls? Don't be silly, Sparkle Face. What? It's the home of our new friend, Princess Silky Soft. Nice to meet the... you, Princess Silky Soft. I want to say it's a poor representation of most bronies, but I don't even know. Now I will speak the ancient legendary sandwich words of power. You know, because you couldn't just stack them on top of each other like a real sandwich. As team leader and sandwich expert, I should get the first bite. Ah, uh, b -b 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 hold on now. I lost an arm for this sandwich. I get first dibs. But I lost my hair. Surely just that slice is more it. important than a hand. I should get the first bite. Just slice it. I should get the first bite. I got the worst of it. Look at this. Just you eat with no slice the, the sandwich. sandwich. I get the first bite. Who can tell you which one got the first bite first? Silky, stop. Mama's little bum corf, no. That's not for you. And yet, none of them think to just pull it out of his mouth. I told you that sandwich wasn't great. So, anyone want to watch Pretty Pretty Pegasus? Aha, uh -huh, it's funny because he's a boy. Oy. Yeah, when I saw this when it first came out, it was really lackluster, but... Nah, nothing has changed. It's still really lackluster. Admittedly, there's more fighting than I remember there being. And, uh... There's some moments where it's a little bit funny, but... I'm sure that's going to change down the line. This has been Treebeard. You've been watching Hoof Hearted. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye bye now.